So I'm here with what most people would call a certified badass. Uh, we've got Ryan Trotter at Crossbar. Um, tell us a little bit about your military experience. Uh, I was in the Navy, I was a cook. <laughs> he did a little more than being a cook. Um, I also painted, gray's my favorite color. <laughs> so Trot has a lot of uh, driving experience. Not only is he a, a veteran, um, but he is very diverse in the Ultra Force scene and King of the Hammers and Baja. So tell us a little about that. Where did you start off-roading? Uh, I mean, grew up on a small farm up in Kansas and that kind of took off from there. Built my first go-kart. It broke in half on me. Um, had this idea of racing Baja as a small kid, um, like everybody does. But uh, anyway, joined the Navy, went to the SEAL teams, did 20 years there. Then I uh, got to off-road in Kosovo, got to off-road in Iraq, got to off-road in Afghanistan. So um, ultimately ran into a guy named Ricky Johnson. He's teaching motocross or motorcycle riding, uh, riding desert riding. Um, sent a group of my guys out to, to get his training. They came back, had nothing but great things to say about it. So I went out, uh, did a course or two with him, got invited to come back and basically be a Sherpa for him. And then uh, started that relationship with Ricky he became essentially one of my off-road mentors, which is not a bad mentor to have for sure, just because of uh, everything that he's accomplished in his uh, his off-road career. But uh, end up he uh, he got a wild hair up his ass. He wanted to race King of the Hammers in 2015. We did the EMC. We end up running all seven races of that. We end up winning a championship there. Got tied in with Dave Cole for helping prep the. Uh, the spec trucks the next year, got tied into Ultra 4, prepped those trucks, then uh, then went to Race Ops in, uh, that'd be 17, worked Ultra 4 the, there, got asked by a team in 2020 to drive for them in the 4400 class, so I drove that, finished there, um, ended up riding shotgun with Tom Waze last year, it was a pretty good experience, yeah. Uh, or yeah, last year, but uh, this year, uh, had some sponsor, uh, sponsorship conflicts. They backed out on Tom. Tom ended up getting a uh, get King sponsored, so that works. We're going to hit 25 <laughs> pretty hard. Um, how I got tied to Crossbar was when Justin Ramsey had come out about that time frame of 2017 or so, and you know threw out the idea of racing in Oklahoma. Um, originally, had met uh, well Dave Cole. We were in Reno. Dave Cole calls me on the radio. We're setting up the race course, calls me on the radio. Like, hey, I need some help. That usually means Dave needs something heavy lifted. So uh, got down there. Uh, Dave said, hey, you're originally from Oklahoma. So I guess sir. And he goes, uh, that guy's from Oklahoma. I can't understand a word he says. Can you translate? And I said, yeah. So, hey, man, how you doing? So that's how I end up meeting Justin Ramsey. So he told us about the, uh, the, the ranch again and then uh, Came out, took a look at the place, fell in love with it. So, um, through through the previous uh, one of the previous partners or uh, Justin's partner, they had uh, asked me to come out and help help uh, Justin run the place, and jumped at the opportunity. So, voila, here we are. <laughs> and the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> Bad decisions and uh, cheap beer. So, that's that's a quick rundown on the what Trot has to offer in his experience. Um, Trot is actually going to uh, provide a course instruction for any veteran that wins an entry into the obstacle course for Dirt Fest. So uh, Recoil has a TJ that we've been working on that's like still needs a lot of work, but come around for Dirt Fest. It is a, a manual, but any veteran that wins the competition to enter this Dirt Fest obstacle course, Trot will actually be giving driving instruction for. So veteran to veteran, um, definitely something to look forward to.